Y'all, I have been trying to make this video and I know that when the devil doesn't want you to give a message, he will continuously try to just irritate me until I give up. Like he knows I don't like doing messages in the dark so he's literally had me stand out here and get on my nerves four or five times already that I tried to record this video. And I was like almost done with this and then I'll, I don't know where the headlights on the car turned on which distracted me ridiculously so I'm gonna start again. I have, um, here we go, Luke 4, 43, but he said, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God to the other towns also because that is why I was sent. I heard before I came out here a song called La 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 by Stray Kids or La 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 La, something like that, by Stray Kids. And the lyric is shout into the mic and show all you've got because I do have another message that I wanted to post today. So that one might be while it's kind of dark outside. Sorry guys. And if you watch that video, you're gonna hear me mention that Stray Kids song again. I heard in my sleep, don't be silent. I also heard in my sleep, the trumpet blasts. I talked about in the last Jeremiah 5 video about a dream where I mentioned Russia. And today I opened up this book and right there it says Russian, Russia, Russian. So again, more Russia stuff. Um, I saw a car commercial of a family driving this car, an SUV, and then they pull over in the forest and they go camping. So they set up tents and fireplaces or a fire, not a fireplace. Um, a song called Thunderous by Stray Kids. It says, go back woodcutter. There's nothing to cut here. And another lyric that translates to freezing cold. And that'll make sense when I tell the dream. I noticed again, the ramps on U-Haul trucks, a song by Stray Kids called Maniac, where it says warning. And then this street I'm walking on is like a minefield, like a dormant volcano. You never know when it'll explode. And everyone lives hiding themselves. Then Strong's Greek 655 to turn away. I had a vision where I was, it was like a flash, it was real quick, but I must have been laying down and then I opened my eyes in the vision. So in real life, my eyes were closed. I was awake, I was not sleeping. But the way the vision was, it was like me seeing my eyelids open and looking above me and I was laying under these clusters of grapes then I have Strong's Greek 1801 to give ear. I have a song by Stray Kids called S Class, which that translates to full of odd things, never changes a bustling street, and then everything that gets in the way on the street. So again, mentioning more streets. Then YouTube video of when my husband, um, he would show me these YouTube videos. Sorry, I couldn't get that out right. He, we used to watch on YouTube these videos of people exploring abandoned mansions. And also I remember him showing me one of like a subdivision that was started, but they must have ran out of money and didn't finish it. So there's like, it's like a subdivision of houses that nobody lives in, it's abandoned. I also have the song again, Boy With Love by BTS, where it translates to World Peace No Way. A song called Shameless by Camila Cabello where it says right now I'm shameless. There was a YouTube reel of a girl who was trying on blush but it was clear so she didn't know what color it was going to be until she put it on her face. I kept noticing Nissan Pathfinders while driving and also two billboards that mentioned uh, Nissan Pathfinders. Uh, Strong's Greek 373 to give rest. I, I just randomly was remembering how a friend down the street had a dog named Sheba after the cat food. And then my daughter had made an obstacle course. I mentioned this before in another video, but it applies here out of Lego. So she just made an obstacle course. And the way God had me remember that whole thing was he brought me some Lego videos and I'm like, oh, that, that goes with this verse or this uh, chapter of Jeremiah. Then I saw a vision of a man on a horse and he had a sword, but he was swinging his sword on both sides as he was riding. So clearly he was cutting anyone who was on either side of the horse, like he was running into maybe a battle or, or whatever. He was swinging his sword, clearly cutting things, people, I don't know. <clears throat> and then I already mentioned 
in the last video that YouTube reel of that woman who was about to have a baby, then on my walks, I keep noticing the word trail on like street signs and also on trailers, like the trailer brand has the word trail on it. And I also was noticing these F-150 trucks that say off road on it and a whole bunch of signs that say keep off grass. Then a YouTube reel of a parrot who taps on these things that the owner shows him like a bowl and he has the parrot tap on it. He said, tell me what kind of bowl it is. And the parrot will say glass or he'll say metal. He'll actually say what the bowl is made out of. And then my husband, he made up this song. I actually was, thought it was a real song. I don't know, I just thought he was, he's into like old songs. So I just assumed it was real, but I was like, did you make this up? He said, yes. So the song kept, it just kept coming to my head, but he said, it says, um, ain't nothing but fool's gold. That's what he just always says that. And then they um, actually saw a gumball machine that said fool's gold on it. So now I'm going to get into the scripture. It is uh, Jeremiah 6. And I have, all right, like, I'm so distracted. My kid, my husband and my daughter are outside in the yard because he's testing the sprinkler system. If I said this already, I'm sorry because I've tried to record this too many times, but all I see through my peripheral is like my husband walking on this side and my daughter running around in the sprinkle system on that side. So anyways, uh, Jeremiah 6, flee for safety, people of Benjamin, flee for, flee from Jerusalem, sound the trumpet in Tekoa, raise the signal over Beth Hakarim, for disaster looms out of the north, even terrible destruction. I will destroy daughter Zion, so beautiful and delicate. Shepherds with their flocks will come against her. They will pitch their tents around her, each tending his own portion. And I'm going to pause right there because God just made me remember that I didn't even share the dream. So let me get this paper. And since I was only three verses in, I'm going to start again on the scripture after I say this dream. <laughs> I'm totally not going to redo this video. Sorry, guys. You guys know I'm just all over the place sometimes. <clears throat> so this dream, I was standing outside on my back porch. It was gloomy outside. I couldn't tell if it was because it was getting dark or if that's just how it looked all the time now. There were about 20 to 25 other people standing there too, kind of leaned against the bricks and the windows of my house, as well as the brick columns. People were huddled together to keep warm. I was standing with a group of like three people or five people and I was by a woman who was tall older and clearly she was German I don't know <clears throat> how I knew she was German I can't recall if her accent was German but I knew she was German she began to tell me about how she had already been through a cold war she said that she didn't like how our government was sending all of the supplies to other countries leaving us with almost nothing and I do remember her saying something about gas masks but I can't remember all of it then I walked toward another group and the German woman followed behind me but as I got to the group I kind of stopped where it was just me the German lady and one girl and I leaned into them and I said hey winter's coming God's already shown me in a dream for real prepare for the winter it's going to be freezing and then I don't really know where this fits in with everything but I'm gonna put it in here because I mentioned the song that had the lyrics freezing cold and also here in this um, dream about it be freezing a freezing winter um, I kept thinking about Game of Thrones where it says winter is coming and I kept noticing the phrase twice the ice on the ice machines and the penguins I kept seeing penguins on the ice machine yes but also I was cleaning out one of the junk drawers and why was there a book in the junk drawer that's not where it goes I mean when you think of books that's not something you're gonna find in a junk drawer it was a big book 
and it had penguins on it and then also I kept seeing like polar bears and stuff like that so that was just more cold stuff so now I'm gonna get into the scripture um, Jeremiah 6 flee for safety people of Benjamin flee for from Jerusalem, sound the trumpet in Tekoa, raise the signal over Beth Hikarim, for disaster looms out of the north, even terrible destruction. I will destroy daughter Zion, so beautiful and delicate. Shepherds with their flocks will come against her. They will pitch their tents around her, each tending to his own portion. So that goes with that tent commercial. Prepare for battle against her, arise and let us attack at noon, but alas, the daylight is fading. Oh, well, that just made sense. My dream was kind of dark outside. Anyways, and the shadows of the evening grow long. I cannot believe I didn't put that together with that dream. Okay, whatever. I'm telling you guys, sometimes I don't really know ahead of time, like, how a dream will fit into scripture. And even when I'm reading it, it doesn't dawn on me until, until now. Um, I'm at verse five. So arise and let us attack at night and destroy her fortresses. This is what the Lord Almighty says. Cut down the trees and build siege ramps against Jerusalem. This city must be punished. It is filled with oppression as a well pours out its water. So she pours out her wickedness. Violence and destruction resound in her. Her sickness and wounds are before me. Take warning, Jerusalem, or I will turn away from you and make your land desolate so no one can live in it. This is what the Lord Almighty says. Let them gleam the remnant of Israel as thoroughly as a vine. Pass your hand over the branches again like one gathering grapes. To whom can I speak and give warning? Who will listen to me? Their ears are closed so they cannot hear. The word of the Lord is offensive to them. They find no pleasure in it. But I am full of wrath of I am full of the wrath of the wrath of the Lord and cannot hold it in. Pour it out on the children in the street and on the young men gathered together. Both husband and wife will be caught in it. The old and those weighed down with their years. Their houses will be turned over to others together with their fields and their wives when I stretch out my hand against those who live in the land, declares the Lord. So that goes with the um the empty houses and that noise was my husband accidentally hitting the car with the water hose. Um, I'm at verse 13 from the least to the greatest, all are greedy for gain prophet and priest alike all practice deceit. They dress the wound of my people as though it were not serious peace, peace. They say when there is no peace, are they ashamed of their detestable conduct? No, they have no shame at all. They do not even know how to blush. So they are, so they will fall among the fallen. They will be brought down when I punish them, says the Lord. This is what the Lord says. Stand at the crossroads and look. Ask for ancient paths. So the pathfinder thing. And where the good way is and walk in it. And you will find rest for your souls. But you said we will not walk in it. I appoint watchmen over you and said, listen to the sound of the trumpet. But you said we will not listen. Therefore, hear you nations. You are witnesses. Observe what will happen to them. Hear you earth. I am bringing disaster on this people. The fruit of their schemes because they have not listened to my words and have rejected my law. What do I care about the incense from Sheba or sweet calamus from a disaster land? Your burnt offerings are not acceptable. Your sacrifices do not please me. Therefore, this is what the Lord says. I will put obstacles before the people, parents and children alike will stumble over them. Neighbors and friends will perish. This is what the Lord says. Look, an army is coming from the land of the north. A great nation is being stirred up from the ends of the earth. They are armed with bow and spear. They are cruel and show no mercy. They sound like the roaring sea as they ride their horses. They come like men in battle formation to attack you, daughter Zion. I'm at verse 24. We have heard reports about them and our hands hang limp. Anguish has gripped us, pain like that of a woman in labor. Do not go out into the fields or walk on the roads. So stay off the grass and go on the trails and the off, off road on the trucks. Um, for the enemy has a sword and there is terror on every side. Oh, he was sweeping his sword on both sides. Y'all, I'm sorry. 
and I put on sackcloth my people and roll in ashes mourn and bitter mourn with bitter wailing as for the only son for suddenly the destroyer will come upon us I also kept seeing the word instant so that would be like suddenly okay I have made you a tester of metals like that parrot and my people the ore that you may observe and test their ways. They are like hardened rebels going out to slander. They are bronze and iron. They all act corruptly. The bellows flow fiercely to burn away the lead with fire, but the refining goes out, goes on in vain. The wicked are not purged out. They are called rejected silver because the Lord has rejected them. So fool's gold. It's not, it's not a, it's not real gold. It just kind of plays off them being rejected. So anyways, that's the end of it. Sorry, I kept getting distracted. Um, but one thing I wanted to add is just remember to lean on God through everything and to trust him. You know, he has plans. He already knew this was going to happen. He already gave us warning about things like this happening. And so I encourage you, if you haven't reached out to Christ to accept him in your heart and acknowledge that he paid your sin debt in full so you can have eternal life, I suggest you do that because it was the best decision of my life and it will be the best decision of yours. All right, guys, always find the light. Bye.